this is what we are going to generate logo generator it's not perfect but it uses flux apis we are going to build it using flux apis open ai's new r1 model it took about two dollars to create this which is not cheap for pre-requests i was being very conservative i did some manual work as well but it didn't take too long using cursor we'll keep it simple i'm thinking a logo generator or something along those lines create next app create a logo generator typescript yes yes lint yes tailwind css yes src directory no app router yes would you like to customize default import alias no right now that's done let's go into logo generator cursor dot let's open it up i'm thinking cursor go to cursor settings here i can't access open ai's uh, new model strawberry model or one or one mini because i'm only usage tier 3 using the api but cursor has those available so i can't i'm, I'm not subscribed to chat gbd plus either because i am subscribed to claude but it is available in, through my cursor subscription so i can't test it out there on chat gpt's interface but let's test it out here so it is already enabled i think it's been it has been updated in the background and so let's start let's start with chat window and let's say code base and say reasoning step what is that these are all new i have no idea um we are going to select all one preview for now and say i want let's create a let's create a prompt actually i want to create a logo generator app this will use um flux api from using inference i have already done how to use hugging face inference to create images using flux api in another video check that out but here we are simply going to i want for the user to actually i think i will i will actually use cursor small or gpt for a mini here to create the use cases create use cases for llm prompt within a I want to prompt an LLM to create a logo generator app. Create the prompt for this. Include specifics and use cases and keep it simple should generate so this is probably like creating a prompt using using the model should generate should generate should prompt to create a nice interface styled nice using tailwind etc and use shared cn where appropriate create a logo generator app that allows user to key features to include a canvas area drag and drop elements mm, no not really so i'll just say uh, this should be just prompting should just ask the llm this app will only include an input for generating a logo with a prompt not with canvas all right let's accept that command enter create logo generator app create feature the input field where you can prompt to generate the logos the ability to use customize customize colors sizes and fonts using simple color picker integration with chat cn components for enhanced ui elements like buttons and models a preview feature that allows you to go in different contexts an export option to download the logo in well we won't be doing all of it and i don't think we'll be even finishing it but let's do the workflow 
you small bis small business owners you keep looking to create brand identity that's not what i meant by use cases this is more like a audience i'm going to delete that okay i think that's good app is responsive and uh, yeah let's create let's take that and put it here Nothing happened. Well, let's try again. Code base and prompt. Let's do remove the code base then. Add just the prompt and use chat with co code base. No. Why is it not? That should be just. Uh, Create the logo generator. That's very weird. This usage based pricing is required due to low rate limits during preview period usage. Ah, I think I need to create the usage based pricing in cursor. Let's go. I think I need to do optional usage based pricing here. Enable usage based pricing. And let's put it to like five dollars. That is how much I am willing to pay for this video. If it goes beyond that, if it goes beyond that, we'll have to stop the video. But there is something wrong. I don't want it to be pasted like a like a snippet. For example, if I paste it like that, it is a snippet. But I want it to go like a let's do a note first. Can I copy it here? No, I still. Why is that? That is annoying. Let's do code base and it's doing something. Maybe I should have used composer because I might need to create multiple files. I don't really use composer function from cursor that often anymore because it is not very accurate. It hallucinates more than this for some reason. So I guess it's going through all the reasoning steps maybe, but it is still, ah, okay, all right. That's why it's taking that much time. So React Color Share CN UI, okay, let's install that. Let's open a terminal first. And it is getting installed. And then apply the Tailwind config. Accept. And now modify app page TSX. All right, apply apply to entire file going to accept that so using like open ai's dolly or custom backend service package or json not really sure npm i oh let's just follow that npm run dev what do we have possibly an error yep button etc so i think we need to do shard c and init and stuff like that right so obviously that didn't work what was the error though what does oven mini do i have switched to oven mini still taking some time i think it's just shard cn no shard cn ui this is actually not these are not custom components it appears that shard cn ui is not an available package on npm is that so let's enable the web function web search for shard cn latest installation and follow that instruction is my cursor updating though let's see cursor usage based pricing yeah it's already spent like 40 cents <laughs> oh and preview all right where, where was i all right here so it has gone through all the web pages and stuff like that let's run it one by one run it's actually no shard c and it's just shard c and mm, i don't think it will figure it out maybe it's that package json shard c and ui added here let's do pm i shard c and and run that and uh, what is this dark mode configuration and everything theming that's what it is let's accept that 
dark mode enables okay global css apply that it's just one more reasoning step i think before it's like a self-reflecting agent kind of thing before it actually creates the, um, the prompt before prompt maybe something like that before it actually creates the response global.css is applied utils i don't even have a utils apply will it create one <laughs> apply to global css no that's not what i want cancel lib.util let's create lib and then utils.ts apply continue i can i just copy that accept ah, it didn't actually do anything cursor problems and now mkd oh, <laughs> all right i ensure that shared cn init that is actually npx shared cn init new york okay let's refresh it and see how much does mini cost and through cursor doesn't appear here yet all right uh, let's do stone let's do stone yes it's just shared cn now not shared cn ui all right i'm just going to yeah just manually copy that and button oh did it come back with no i'm still thinking i don't really want to waste time there so i'm going to do this model and apply this apply to entire file npm run dev let's see if it works it does not work components ui model yeah that is not added going to npx cn add model why didn't it finish there is no <laughs> cn model okay let's ask let's ask on one preview then will it there is an error Two oven preview requests. All right, forty cents. That is through cursor. Yeah, that is too much. I think it's sixty dollars or something for a million uh, tokens. The pricing does that make sense? But this is just per request. I think yeah, that is per request cost. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense for me. It has come back. Let's see if this works. Otherwise, I'm just not going to waste money on that something went wrong okay that was our resolving the adult error steps to resolve the error all right shared cn dialog makes sense all right i think it is better do not use oven mini then shared cn atlas will do what non-known command shared cn dialog i've already done that right and now page accept let's see and after that page or tx update model implementation let's apply that to home okay and remove the old model component import okay apply no no cancel all right that's just walking through the thing i think install require dependencies why react dialog since you are using the dialog component, yeah, but that is from Shard CN. Why is it asking to install React dialog? It's already it should be installed. Dialog, yeah, Radix UI. Mm, okay, redundant, I think. NPS class, run that. Should we actually manually? <laughs> Not really sure whether should we manually all right fine uh manually update package short json npm run dev let's see ah logo generator I, we have something here so color enter your logo description helvetica size i don't even know why that is so i will i'm going to just um, take a flux some flux code that i wrote previously using hugging face inference api and then i'm going to feed it to all preview and say um, 
I want the logo generation mechanism to use Flux API using uh, hugging face inference like this code. I'll wrap it in code. Let's say code. And also, I want and possibly pass the color prompt and size to this API or as part of the as part of the uh, API call or as part of the prompt I think the size will be part of the API color will be in the prompt so will the font right now what else do we need to do there so we need to pass this color and helvetica in as part of the prompt logo prompt in addition to the prompt from the input but i don't want it to let's see also cancel the generation let's also see does that count as another 40 cents <laughs> i'll be damned <laughs> i don't know cancel it maybe so two what happened there yep that does count as another request i think so so you will need to convert the python code to similar uh, next year server action yo yeah let's let's go with that and see what that does in the meantime i'm going to create an environment file and enter my hugging face token there let's copy that and paste that there well that's basically this will this work inference and then next response i'll just go to hugging face and then go to flux and then I will use this model. No. Deploy. No. Use this model. Diffusion B. No. And it should be a JavaScript version for this. Inference API. Ah, oh, yeah, it's here. JavaScript. I'll just. Mm, is it stringify is it that yeah looks like looks correct input method is post prompt body inputs no it's just data what is data data is just the prompt i think no that is wait for model that's hugging face python api that is not correct so i'll have to manually modify <laughs> manually modify it prompt i'll just do prompt prompt right no just data hmm, inputs query no it's actually inputs query payload so inputs probably inputs is right 
probably well, that's right let's see wait for model to warm up let's see if it works and uh, what will happen if I it is returning a base 64 image from the looks of it npm install node fetch fine okay just following what it says but class variance authority 7 1 that doesn't exist so I should probably revert that manual change that we did before npm install node fetch okay yeah didn't it's a bad, bad idea to manually patch package json compiler options module why yes module hmm. should <laughs> i don't think that's a good idea okay let's do app page dot okay change the actual page tsx where the where this page is that is page dot tsx let's see accept what happened did i accept all right okay now what Handle image display and export the image. Handle image display. What is it? What is it trying to do? Use image which is the data URL containing the base sixty four. Is that what it is? No, logo URL. So I think it's explaining what change it changes it made and search for export yeah this is just explaining don't really have to apply that model parameters that is how was the python there is inputs so in my other so in my other API, yeah, there is no size or anything that is passed there. So probably need to use um, Grady or something to pass the size, etc. Like this. And pass it like this. But anyway, uh, let's keep it simple then. Why is it asking me to run this again? All right, there's no. That is a bad idea. Check your check your package or JSON. It's not actually. Yeah, so it was my bad trying to apply that. Should probably read through it. Test the test it separately. Okay, fine. I'm not going to test it. I'm just going to run the thing. All right, npm run dev. A logo for a cattle farm is it a thing that's an error and I don't think anything is happening it's compiled inspect did anything oh would you look at that <laughs> all right not bad what does export logo do the, is this is the color etc past so yellow I said times new Roman farm called cattle house generate logo in the mean yeah cattle house <laughs> what does that mean Kumnit farm is that a, is that something meaningful 
need a farm. Oh, I think it was trying to say community farm. Maybe, correct me. And then let's see if we can export it. Export, export as PNG. Yeah. And then image. Yes, that works. <laughs> All right, so what's the damage? Let's see. So we have in cursor, we did use curse, try to use cursor mini. Uh, but we did use four preview requests that cost around 1.60. So I'm going to switch switch from probably, I'm going to keep using Sonnet 3.5 for now. But as soon as I have access to the API, through the API, there is an option in cursor to use, to use OpenAI API key rather than getting charged per request. I would rather get charged per token. This is costly, even more costly than OpenAI pricing. But anyway, so that's our, so this is our, so this is our logo generator. That's not times New Roman, but you get the idea. You can just pass it as part of the prompt. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Being a digital nomad, developer, maybe that. Finding freelance contracts or